looking at a rock like this, I think you would be forgiven for thinking that it is barren and lifeless, but you look a little deeper and you can find some incredible creatures. This is a limpet. Right here and right now, he's not really doing a lot. In fact, you'd be forgiven for thinking that he was just stone. But as soon as the tide comes in, these guys get to work. Limpets are vital grazers. They're herbivores, they eat veg. They will track all over this entire surface, grinding up algae, bacteria, sponges, literally anything that will form on this rock. In fact, it's the grazing action of things like limpets that stop this whole shoreline from being covered in green, slimy algae in a matter of weeks. But after they finish motoring around and getting a good feed on, they'll feel that tide start to change and they know they need to get back home quick. And he would do that by following a trail of snot, a sticky scent trail that he would have left wherever he went grazing on the rocks. But they don't just hunker down on any bit of rock. They have a very specific place that they always go back to. It's called a home scar. These shy shellfish can literally grind stone, molding rock and shell to create the tightest of fits. Over time, wearing away a patch on the rock which fits their outline perfectly. Eventually, an obvious scar in the rock forms, giving them a watertight seal for when the tide recedes. Perfect fit. So, when the tide completely goes out and they're exposed like these chaps here, they don't end up losing moisture through evaporation because they're sealed tight to the rock. As anyone who's tried will testify, once a limpet is latched on, it's almost impossible to remove. It's very clever. <laughs> 